Hello, I'm Javier Puy, and in this video I will explain our last paper published in Methods in Ecology and Evolution, where we test a novel demethylation application for ecological epigenetic experiments. Plant epigenetic variation is caused by several DNA modification, including DNA methylation. A simple approach to test the ecological role of epigenetic variation that does not require using sophisticated and demanding molecular method is to alter the epigenetic status of the plant by reducing this DNA methylation. Plant DNA methylation can be reduced via application of the methylating agents such as azacitidine or cebularine. Traditionally, plants are demethylated during germination. Seeds are put directly into a society in solution until they germinate. However, this approach usually causes unwanted effects, such as underdeveloped root systems and high mortality of treated plants, making really difficult a full comparison with untreated plants. In order to overcome the shortcomings of the germination method, in our paper we test a simple alternative method of the methylating plants. This one is based on daily spraying of the demethylation agent onto the leaf surface of established seedlings. It should be noted that in addition to the isacetidine, a drop for surfactant, otherwise liquid soap, has to be added for lowering surface tension. Our results demonstrate that the spray application, as opposite to the traditional germinating method, does not reduce plant growth or performance compared to the untreated plants. And moreover, the spray application has similar and systemic DNA demethylating efficiency as the germination method, around 50-20% relative reduction. Also, in the paper, we demonstrate its applicability in ecological epigenetic experiments by testing transgenerational effects of plant-plant competition. The spray application equalizes the epigenetically modified plant features of seedlings coming from plants growing under competition, but with no effect in seedlings coming from plants grown without the competition. As you can see, its application is easy and fast. However, remember to follow adequate safety procedures handling azacitidine due to its potential risk to human health. In conclusion, this novel method could thus be better suited for experimental studies seeking valuable insights into ecological epigenetics. Furthermore, the spray method can be suitable for clonal species reproducing asexually and most importantly, it opens the possibility of community-level experimental demethylation of plants. We hope you find useful our work if you want more information on this topic, please read our paper in Methods in Ecology and Evolution or contact us for thoughts and suggestions. Thanks a lot.